Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. So we spend a lot of time at Higher Things talking about how to do theology. We tackle some really tough stuff, and you guys follow right along. It's, it's fantastic. Um, and, and as much as we talk about how to do theology, it's, it's also pretty important to talk about why we do theology. And for some of us, it's easy. It's just kind of fun. We're kind of nerds. We love to learn. We love the history. We love the languages. We love seeing how all the pieces fit together. If you're studying this stuff just because it's a good time, awesome. Like, keep it up. We've got a bunch of content. Dig through it. It's fantastic. Um, there's even more to learn that you've got right now. But there's also maybe kind of a darker strain to why we crack these books sometimes. I think sometimes we, we really do just love to comb through the internet to find new people to argue with about theology. We love to read through blogs, read books, as if we're looking for brand new things to worry about, brand new things to be afraid of. It's like the people who only watch the news to find out what terrible thing that went wrong so they can lose sleep over that too. Some of us really only crack the book to look for something brand new to be upset about or afraid about. And when it comes to baptism, there is no shortage of people who want to argue. There is no shortage of doubt that people want to sow. And in the large catechism, Luther would speak against this. In fact, he says... Here a question occurs by which the devil, through his sects, confuses the world, namely of infant baptism, whether children also believe and are justly baptized. Concerning this, we say briefly, let the simple dismiss this question from their minds and refer it to the learned. So here's the thing. If you've never worried about whether or not you should have been baptized as an infant, good. Understand where that worry comes from. If God is trying to work certainty through a thing and all you can find is doubt, understand that that doubt is not coming from him, but the enemy. You don't have to go looking for more doubt. Baptism was given as a gift, not a glass figurine that you have to defend. He speaks about it in his word, not so that you can win arguments with strangers on the internet, but so that people might actually find help and comfort as they study. Um, we have really tough questions about baptism. We have really tough questions about our lives after the fact. Anything? The, the thing is, we can answer those questions. But we don't learn about baptism just to fight with people or find more to worry about and, and wonder whether or not it worked and find more doubt and more concern. We are given these, these scriptures about the water that God would join to his word to save so that we would find comfort all the more. Because here's the thing about baptism. It is just not as fragile as we think it is. So when it comes to baptism, we can grab hold of God's word. We can open it. We can read it. And we can actually start to ask really simple questions. First, are you baptized? Good. And if not, why not? Like, what hinders it, really? Because the second question is this, does God command baptism and promise blessing through it? For example, baptism now saves you. Um, well, so what hinders baptism? When we're going to talk about infant baptism, the more you look to yourself, the more you're going to have to be afraid of. The more you look to his promises, the more secure things are. And that is why we do theology. We do theology to find peace, comfort, certainty, hope. Our Lord says, do not be afraid. But it doesn't just stop there. Like There's some switch that we can just flip and then not be afraid anymore. He keeps going. And, and if we actually keep listening, he'll even tell us why we don't need to be afraid. So when it comes to baptism, even baptism given to infants, first and foremost, look to all of the promises that God would make about baptism, that it does something. And so when we want those things given to our kids, well, we know where to get it. A little bit of water, work. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. If you've never worried about whether or not to baptize a kid, don't start now. But if it's something you've ever, ever had to worry about, wrestle over, we can answer. And that's what we're going to start tackling. So stay with us.